Facebook has been facing turbulent times over the last few years. It has been at the center of privacy scandals, data leaks, election meddling and more. All of which has made Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg requesting the government to clarify what counts as harmful content online so that the company can take it down. But analysts feel this is superficial at best compared to the scale and scope of the problems Facebook is confronting. In US also, FTC is an old age regulator which may not be very influential or the, uh, or the um, uh, good in the news scenario, post internet scenario. So demand is being raised that a new regulator should be appointed. Facebook indirectly is also supporting, Mark is also supporting this demand that yes, new rule of internet are required. But he wants it in the best interest of the company instead of being in the best interest of the society. Because in 2004, Facebook was uh, started for the benefit of the society. Now, this benefit of the society, this social perspective is lost in the corporate gain. Facebook's problems are multi-layered, given its size, business model, technical limitations and years of unchecked growth. Miscreants have created celebratory videos using Facebook's platform to generate extremist content for ISIS and Al-Qaeda. The company says it is working on solutions, but the problems are getting bigger. Mass shootings are being live-streamed and online mobs are spreading rumours leading to deadly violence with greater impunity than ever before. Whenever a new problem crops up, critics say Facebook apologises and promises to make changes. Till a newer, bigger and more shocking incident happens. Critics also say that Facebook did not anticipate how malicious elements readily misuse its platform. More recently, the company has emphasized just how much it is improving, both technically in its use of artificial intelligence to detect problems and in terms of focusing money and effort on fixing them. It said, and I quote, After making heavy investments, we are detecting and removing terrorism content at a far higher success rate than even two years ago. We don't claim to find everything and we remain vigilant in our efforts against terrorist groups around the world. Well, I think what uh, America and the world is waking up to is creating new laws and regulations. If it will not be Facebook, it might be some other company tomorrow. So just breaking up a company, firstly, is not democratic. But on the other side, we require laws to bring about change in the way the tech industry works. Experts say the problems of the company could be owing to its DNA. While the business model relies on as many people as possible using Facebook as much as possible, it is making users leave behind personal details that can and are being targeted by advertisers. Facebook and its users seem to be caught in a complicated bargain and a vicious cycle. Facebook users get wider access but compromise themselves by giving up personal data. A process that might drag on till governments step in forcibly. With inputs from Vipul Agarwal, Bureau Report, Rajasabha TV.